What's up everybody? My name is Anthony. I'm an occupational therapist and the digital content creator here at ICANN. How are you all doing today? You can't answer me because you're on the other side of the computer. That's okay. Today we're going to talk to you about something a little bit different than what we've been doing. We're going to talk about self-care. It's a hot topic right now. All of our lives are in flux and really crazy and stuff's getting changed day by day it seems like. So self-care is very important for you and for us as clinicians. It's really important for us as clinicians because if we're trying to help out your kiddos the best that we can, we need to take care of ourselves and be our best self to take care of your kiddos. So first what we're going to do here is we're going to see what some of the people who work here at ICANN are doing for self-care. Maybe some of those tips can help you out. I don't know. It could happen. Uh, but even before that, we got these really cool things here at ICANN called Calm Booths. And we're going to take a, a look at Nick, the lead VT here, getting into one of those after a long day. he's okay. Uh, we'll check back in on Nick later, but first let's hear from some of the folks who work here at ICANN and some of the self-care things that they have been doing. Check it out. I eat chocolate banana pseudo ice cream for breakfast every morning. I've been listening to a lot of true crime podcasts. I've been learning how to embroider and I walk my dog a lot. For self-care, I practice yoga every day. I make sure that I leave the office at a set time, and when I leave the office, even if everything is not done, I, I know that I'm going to work on it again tomorrow, so I try to make it okay with myself that halfway left things, I'll get finished the next day, and I also drink a lot of water. So for me, self-care is actually really important. I like to take some time for myself by doing a little bit of meditation now and again, and one of my all-time favorite things to do is take a very hot bubble bath. My husband just remodeled our bathroom, and it's the perfect sanctuary for me to just get my peace and relaxation and come out a new, changed person. I try to eat a lot of vegetables. I try to drink at least 64 ounces of water or two of my big water bottles a day. I try to meditate when I can. Exercise a lot, but not too much, just a little bit every day and get a lot of sleep. Very cool. Hopefully some of those strategies or ideas uh, could help you out. If not, just know we're trying to take care of ourselves to be our best self to help take care of your loved ones. Uh, in the meantime, let's check in on Nick and see how he's doing. Wow, he looks refreshed. And I hope that you are all finding ways to get refreshed too in this time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and we will see you next time.